Hey, don't say that, please. All right. Uh, Trinity, first off, did you find your charger that was back there? Your device charger? Okay, I'll get it to you in just a second. I think it's better than more. All right. Uh, this one says write a table from the equation y equals negative 5x minus 1. Uh, which number is that going to be on here? It says write a table or determine the table from the equation. Table from a graph or uh, writing an equation, a table from an equation. All right, so that one's number five. Guys, how do we start this off? Like, I don't. Yeah, go ahead, man. Uh, put the M and then the B. That's how we graph, okay? Hey, man, we're coming up with a table. So, what do we need to draw? A graph. A table. Yeah. Guys, y'all need. Guys, this was actually on those last test. Yeah. Yeah, everyone got it wrong. Well, no, they didn't. Like, y'all did really well on this last part. Oh, right? Neil. What? It wasn't giving you an equation. It was giving you a graph, and you had to get you had, you had to get the table. I mean, it's the same thing. Now, here's my table, but I have no numbers in it. So, what does that mean, Xander? I mean, how do I get the numbers in it? Yo, fit for it, because I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like, put the like negative one, zero. What Xander is saying is he's saying you pick values for x. It doesn't matter which values of x you pick. He said negative one, zero, and one. Miss Porter could put one, two, three if she wanted to use all the positive numbers. It doesn't matter. Everybody's table is going to look a little bit different. But I would suggest if, if you were going to then graph it, I would suggest picking a negative number, zero, and then the easiest positive number you can use. Because you really don't need more than two points. But I like to do three, four, or five points. Now, how do we get the rest of the table filled in? Chastain, how do we get the rest of our table filled in on the like, how do we get these y values, the output values? You... So check What is the first value of x that we're going to oh, put in? Oh, like, negative 5. Listen to the question I'm asking. What is the first value of x that we're going to put into this equation over here? Oh, negative Yeah, you're going to put the negative 1 in there first. So it's going to be negative 5 times negative 1. And then you're going to subtract 1. Well, negative 5 times negative 1, negative times negative is a positive. So that gives you 5. And then 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1. Oh, boy. There you go. All right. The next one. Why do we always want to use 0? Neil, what is negative 5 times 0 minus 1? Negative 5 times 0 minus 1. We're putting a 0 in for oh, X. Boy. What? What? You said negative 5 times 0 times 1? No, minus 1. Uh, yeah, one. negative 1. Guys, if you put a 0 in here, this thing just cancels out. It's gone. And it says y equals negative 1. All right, that's why we call the y-intercept. When x is 0, whatever the y value is, that's your answer. Dawson, what's the next number that we're going to put in for x to finish our table out here? We just put in negative one, zero. What's the next value of x we're going to put in, Dawson? Stop telling me you got this. Yeah, it's perfect. What's that? No, look, we're putting these values in for x. All right? Those are the values that we just chose. Dawson, if you use three, you wouldn't be wrong. It's just this is what our table looks like that we've chose. So we put in negative one. We got a four. We put in zero. We got negative one. The next x value is what? After the zero. Okay, you're, you're putting these numbers in for x, okay? We just put this one in first, we put this one in second. This is the last one we're going to put in. It's just that one right there, right, buddy? So you pick the x values, and then you're going to put those x values into that equation to figure out what y is. So when we put 1 in here, 
we're going to figure out, well, when x is 1, negative 5 times 1 minus 1, it's going to give us our y value, and we put it right there. So negative 5 times 1 is negative 5, and negative 5 minus 1? Negative who? I'm just talking to anybody here. Thank you. You owe five dollars. You owe a dollar. You owe six dollars all together. That's my negative six. All right. And guys, there's your table. That's it. All right. You just plug in values for x to the equation and find out what y is. It's going to give you your ordered pairs. Y'all underline this one. What was this number five? Yeah. Y'all under y'all underline this one because. I don't get just, the check. Just mark it somehow. Oh, what? You didn't get the check marks. I know. I, I do get it. I'm good. Hey, Rod. Hey, Rod, what does that number say? Can you read it? I don't even know if I can read it. 2.1. Oh, 2.1. Oh, hold on. I got 10 people. Give me numbers. 2.14. Two, hey, Rod, go. 2.14. Nine, six, seven, eight. Two, nine, no, no, no. Dot, 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 dot. Okay. Yeah. That's wrong. That's wrong. There's no two. Erase the two. Yes. All right, hey, Rod, go again. One, four, what's the number that comes nine, after the four, A-Rod? Nine, nine, okay, six, what's the number seven, that comes after the nine? Six, seven, eight. Shoot. Keep Xander, to get frustrated. Xander keeps telling me like nine. Yeah, Xander, come sit up here, dude. You're bothering him. Yeah, come on. Come on, Xander. Did I put y'all there yesterday? There ain't no way I put y'all next to each other. There is no way I put y'all next to each other. You know we have a recording of it, right? No, you put Jonathan next to me. No, he <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. No, he put John, he put John. No, not John. John is Not John. John sent to the front of the Whatever. Come sit up here, Zan. You didn't do anything wrong. Well, you did, but you're not wrong. <laughs> Just come sit up here. You did everything wrong. All right. The next number we have is pi. Guys, we're going to arrange these numbers from least to greatest. Uh, what's the next one we have? What's, I just, um, uh, it's 20 squared. The square root of 20? Yeah. Right What's the next one? I have a five zero. Five to the five power of zero. Five to the zero power. All right. Square root of three. Square root of three squared? Yeah. Two over five. One point three. Three. No, you skipped one. You skipped two over five. You said two over five? Yeah. And then one point three three. Three. All right. Guys, like, I'm making this, uh, this study guide for the packet for the milestones for you guys right now is a lot. I've been working on it a lot. And this, instead of it looking like this, uh, the question says which of the following is which of the following has numbers arranged from least to greatest? And you have four answer choices that look like that. And you gotta determine which of those are arranged from least to greatest. All right. I just made it a little bit easier. I'm giving you one to arrange from least to greatest. All right, you know. If it's multiple choice and you see that the square root of 10 is in front of the square root of 4,